Hello developers, welcome to the second part of Re React Native bottom sheet uh, model tutorial. In the previous video, we designed this bottom sheet model as it is visible on your screen. We designed this uh, model in our previous video. If you haven't followed along the video, you can watch the video. The link is being populated on the top right corner of your screen. You can watch the video from there or you can uh, just uh, use the description box the link will be present in the description in this part we will be animating this bottom sheet model so for that we will be using the react natives animated uh, that's that comes with the default package the animated thing you don't have to install any package to do that it comes like the text input or the uh, simple text field or the view field it comes packaged with the react native so we will be using this animated uh, function or the animated component to just animate the views or animate this window so we have to firstly import this animated from the react native so we will be using the animated and the other things as mentioned in the documentation of the animated we have to use for the values we have to use the value of the animated and we will have to firstly create a ref for the animation and then uh, to uh, this ref is created because it makes uh, uh, the design as reactive for example it's uh, when once its value changes it's at the same time updated uh, uh in the view for the uh, app or the screen so what we will be doing is now using this animated library so what we will be first creating is the ref slide and we will be creating use ref use ref and in use ref will be using new animated dot value and for default we'll keep this as zero and the other two two functions that will update its value will be slide up and slide down like in the default thing it has used fade in and fade out we'll be using slide up and slide down so really copying these two elements and instead of fade in we will use slide slide up and slide down slide down and duration we will keep it as 1500 and also and we'll be passing slide to it and slide to it so uh, what it does is it defines the timing for the animation it takes this reference variable the slide variable and we have to pass a value to it to which value of the slide uh, uh, this uh, function will uh, end at this point to value one for example in slide up we have to uh, because for the sliding we will be using the trans translate function of the transform that comes in the styles and when we keep this uh, value to zero it means no translation has been done from the y side so we have to keep this value as zero to slide up and in when we have to slide down we have to give it a value of uh, i guess minus 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 50 percent or minus we will keep it hard coded right now for now we will keep it hard coded 300 so now uh, to make this uh, uh, to make this styles applicable we have to create an animated view and to create the animated view we have to enclose this sheet this bottom sheet in animated dot view it comes with the default uh, animated component 
so for that we will have to enclose this view this bottom sheet view as animated dot view animated dot view and also this one as animated dot view not this one but this one animated dot view so now bottom sheet we will be just passing this value to the translate function so for that what we will do is we will define the transform property and in transform property what it takes it takes an array and inside an array we have separate objects for translations for example translate y we will be translating it to the slide thing okay slide dot current it will give us the value of this translation so now all things are done now what we have to do is that we have to define a, a state variable so that which will uh, uh, just uh, click its visibility which will check its visibility whether the model is visible or not so for that what we will do we will be doing is that we will creating a state variable constant and we will run status and set status right now we will be keeping this state variable by default false so and we will be displaying this bottom sheet only when we have the status as true we will be displaying this bottom sheet so from by default this bottom sheet will not be visible so like this and now we will be on the press of button launch model will be showing this bottom sheet so what we will be doing is on press of this item we have to set status to true now when we will click on the launch model you can see that it's visible but the animation is not happening as it should this is because we have only defined these two methods right now the slide up and the slide down initially we will be keeping it to 300 what we will be doing is that on the when the component will load at the at that time we will just call the slide up function so that it slides up to the point where it should so slide up function at that time when the component will mount up so when we click on the launch model button we get an error single value dot stop tracking is not a function so this is basically happening because we are passing a complete ref object to the slide uh, function or the slide constant variable but what we have to do is pass the value only so we will pass dot current to it and also we have to remove this current from here so when we save this and now when we click on the launch model button you will see that it's behaving a quite differently the model is popping from the top and sliding to the bottom so this is nothing this is happening because we have put a negative 300 over there but what we have to do is put a positive one so from y we have to do a positive translation to the bottom so when we save it and when we will reload our app from the metro bundler we will see that on click of the launch model it's uh, just popping from bottom to the top as it should so now we see that it's the animation is quite slow for that we will just set the duration to 800 milliseconds to make it faster so to see the preview for now 
we will just reload this from the metro bundler and now when we click on the launch model button we see that this uh, model is perfectly uh, behaving as it should it is popping from the bottom or it's sliding from the bottom uh, and it's becoming visible after 800 milliseconds so our next step is to just close this model when we click on this backdrop right now when we click on this backdrop nothing is happening so now to uh, to make this set status function visible uh, to our component to our child component that's bottom sheet we have to pass it as a prop for that we will just pass this as a prop this set status function state variable and inside of the bottom sheet we will be destructuring this prop from here okay now of what we will be doing is that we will create a function to close the model we will create a function close model and inside of it we will be calling this slide down function slide down function and after that after these 800 milliseconds are over we will call our set status function and set this status to false we can do it right here also but what it will do is that when we click on this backdrop it will instantly uh, set the status of that uh, variable to false and we will not be able to see the animation at that time so I will practically show you that and I will also show the solution what to do and we will keep this to false and for making this backdrop as pressable so that uh, we an event is triggered when we click on this we have to enclose this view or make the parent view as pressable so we will include the pressable from react native and we will enclose our parent in it pressable and now what we will will do is we will call a function on on press we will call our close model function close model function so when we see in the preview window when we click here you can see that we are not able to see the animation as this model is just sliding down as it should but it's instantly disappearing so this is the problem that i was talking about uh, if we just uh, uh, use this set status here it will just uh, hide the model at the very at that very instant and we will not be able to uh, see this slide down animation because it has a duration of 800 milliseconds so it will take 800 milliseconds to complete to fix this issue we will enclose it inside of a set timeout function so inside of a set timeout we will just set the status as false and keep the duration as 800 milliseconds till the animation is complete and then we will hide this model so when now when we just click on this model you can see that it closes nicely and the animation is also visible so launch model and when we click on this backdrop it closes nicely this thing also has a slight bit of issue i will show you that when we click on the launch model if we click outside of this backdrop like on the on this uh, bottom sheet it also closes the model right here so how will be we be able to uh, do certain actions when uh, we have to do certain actions on this bottom sheet so we will have to fix this so this can be fixed by enclosing this animated view inside another pressable so uh, it, what it will do is that it will nullify the parent uh, uh, parent uh, action or the parent event it will cancel out that because it will have its own empty event so it will cancel out the event of its parent when we and will enclose this animated view inside this pressable and we don't have 
uh, to pass any on press attribute to it rather we will be just giving it a width and height as we had given animated bottom sheet like this width of 100% and height of 40% and here we will do it 100% and inside this pressable we will give it a width of 100 and a height of 40% and we will save it you can see the preview now when we launch the model it's launching nicely and if we click outside of this nothing is happening as the event of this pressable this animated pressable it's cancelling the event of its parent which is which is this uh, uh, backdrop so if we click on the backdrop it closes nicely but if we close outside of it it doesn't if it clicks outside of this it doesn't closes and there you have it a fully functional react native bottom sheet model built from scratch i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you have any questions or ideas for future videos drop them in the comment section below happy coding and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care